According to a body language expert, Queen Mary of Denmark seemed relieved and tired during her joyous carriage ride after Queen Margrethe abdicated on Sunday. As the new queen waved to well-wishers, royal watchers expressed worry that she appeared sad and glum. Some even brought up the fact that she had not held her husband King Frederick's hand during the Copenhagen procession. The Australian princess, however, appears secure in her choice to become queen, according to body language expert Dr. Louise Mahler. Although the 51-year-old's smile and energy have gone, she appears relaxed and possibly tired, which is possibly fair enough. She answered, I don't see slumped. Those carriages seem to be incredibly uncomfortable. To the jubilant joy of the 100,000-strong audience, the newly crowned couple celebrated their accession to the kingdom with a public kiss on the Christiansborg Palace balcony. Despite the couple's seeming infatuation, there has been conjecture regarding their fairy tale romance. In recent weeks, following Frederick's photo of himself spending the evening with Mexican socialite Genoveva Casanova, the 47 year old Genoveva denied having a romantic connection of any kind with the monarch. When 55 year old Frederick arrived on the balcony, the crowd erupted in cheers, and they got much louder when his wife showed there. The couple's children were then ushered onto the balcony exciting the throng even further. According to body language specialists, the couple's public displays of affection did not appear spontaneous. Christian, Isabella, Vincent, and Josephine, King Frederick Tech's four children, and his wife Mary joined him following his coronation by Danish Prime Minister Meta Frederiksen. The masses below the Christiansborg castle balcony erupted in thunderous acclaim as Frederick turned to kiss Mary in an instant. Adrienne Carter, a body language specialist, however, said that it was obvious that Frederick planned the kiss rather than it happening on impulse. Mary gets a wink from Frederick, so we're in this together, she stated. He approaches her to plan a kiss, but he has to try a few times before he succeeds. This is not an impromptu action. This is something he has planned. Adrienne also observes that Mary doesn't react in any way. She just accepts when Frederick tries to kiss her on the side of the forehead. The expert in body language wondered if Frederick was still in the doghouse, following reports that he had an affair with Mexican socialite Genoveva Casanova. We see Frederick pull in Mary and plant a kiss on the side of her forehead, Adrienne stated. She just accepts it without offering any sort of response. I wonder if Frederick is still in the doghouse. Late last year, after the now king was seen spending the evening in Madrid with Genoveva, rumors of an affair began to surface. After images of the Mexican socialite with the crown prince in the Spanish capital surfaced, she was later obliged to refute what she called malicious rumors. Lecturas, a Spanish magazine, said that they had dinner together and watched flamenco dancing till one in the morning. Regarding her husband's supper with the socialite, Mary has stayed silent, and the royal pair has made a lot of appearances in public together. But there is growing conjecture that Queen Margaret abdicated in an attempt to retain the support of Frederick's 19-year-old wife. Mary is very well liked by the Danes, and last week, a royal author called her the actual power behind the crown and King Mary. Additionally, Trine Villeman said hi. The 51-year-old mother of four from Australia is much better communicator and public speaker. Then Crown Prince Frederick, Danish royal author Treen, declared prior to Margrethe's daughter-in-law taking the throne, there's no doubt about it, Mary truly is the power behind the throne and will be for decades to come. Frederick is a charming man who has great popularity, but Mary is a far more effective public speaker and communicator. They call her King Mary. In Denmark, because of her immense brilliance and expertise, she has greater approval ratings than the other royals as well. Long live King Mary, as we say in Denmark. The family traveled to Australia, where Mary was born, then New Zealand, before Margareth made her shocking announcement. Princess Mary wrote a mysterious post ahead of Christmas that addressed loneliness and the necessity for healthy human interaction. Just before the family's departure from New Zealand, the future queen looked back on the last year and stated she thought it was shorter than prior years in a letter that was published on the Mary Foundation website. And at the same time, so much has happened that words cannot express it all. 
She went on. Some speculated that the princess was hinting at the affair rumors with her foundation after reading an extract posted on the Danish Royal House's official Instagram account. It said, We need each other if we are to succeed, and that's true for those of us who are working to combat social isolation as well as in the working world. I think this applies to everyone. People depend on other people. The inspirational message was displayed with a stunning photo of the royal family in the snow. She smiled softly at the camera, wearing a cozy woolen blanket underneath a purple jacket. The royal family of Denmark is fortunate to have you. I sincerely hope your spouse understands how much he has embarrassed you and his kids. You will make a magnificent queen, one fan commented. I think this is a sad year for Mary, her husband's alleged betrayal, and it's public. Another commenter said, she is such a strong woman, nothing can stop her. I simply adore her. Some defended the royal family by urging people to put an end to discussions about the alleged affair. Following the purported affair, there has been conjecture that Queen Margaret's abdication was motivated to save her son's marriage to Princess Mary. Claims that Miss Casanova had a romantic involvement with Frederick have been refuted. It's possible that the Queen took this action because she would have been terrified of the marriage breaking up and the royal family losing Mary, royal analyst Phil Dampier told The Telegraph. It would have resulted in serious issues. Mary has always been greatly valued by the Queen. In two weeks, Crown Princess Mary's mother-in-law will relinquish the Danish throne, making her the first Australian-born monarch in history, when Margaret II declared in a speech on New Year's Eve that she would be abdicating her throne after 52 years, it shocked everyone. On January 14th, her son, Crown Prince Frederick, will succeed her. It implies that Mary, his wife, whom he initially encountered in a Sydney pub, will shortly become the first Australian-born queen in history. When the 51-year-old first met Frederick 23 years ago in a crowded downtown pub, she was employed as an advertising executive and had no idea that the dapper European visitor she had been speaking to for hours was actually going to become the King of Denmark. Mary has gained the respect of her adopted nation with her commitment to royal duty and her fluency in the language. She has been married for 19 years and is a proud mother of four children. Over the years, rumors regarding the royal couple's marital status have been reported in gossip magazines in Australia and Denmark, but there is no hard evidence to support the theory that they are not content with their union. The relationship between the two was most recently called into question when pictures of Frederick, 55, having fun on a night out in Madrid in October with Mexican socialite Genoveva Casanova surfaced. On Christmas Eve, however, Frederick and Mary displayed unity as they entered the Aarhus Cathedral, defying rumors of a supposed affair. When Mary Donaldson first met Frederick 23 years ago at the Slip Inn in Sydney, she was 28 years old. Following their encounter in the pub, Mary was approached by 32-year-old Fred, who was in Australia to assist Denmark's sailing team at the 2000 Olympics, for her phone number, and a romantic relationship began. We shook hands when we first met. I was unaware that he was the Danish prince. After 30 minutes, I was approached by someone who asked, do you know who these people are? In an interview, Mary talked about her encounter with the Danish throne heir. For a year, they were separated by distance, with Frederick making covert journeys to Australia until Mary relocated to Denmark in 2001 to attend Studiskolen in Copenhagen to study Danish language. Early in 2003, Queen Margrethe of Frederick's mother made the relationship known to the world. Later that year, on October 8th, the couple announced their engagement in Amelienborg Castle. On May 14, 2004, Mary and Frederick were married at Copenhagen Cathedral. The newly crowned crown princess wore a stunning dress designed by Danish fashion designer Ufer Frank, along with a veil that was first worn by Crown Princess Margaret of Sweden in 1905. Mary brought a bouquet of Australian snowgum eucalyptus dotted with flowers from the palace garden, a tribute to her roots. At the altar, Frederick announced, From today, Mary is mine and I am hers. I promise to defend her with all of my heart since I adore her. Prince Christian Valdemar Henry John, 
Their first child was born on October 15, 2005. On April 21st, 7, Princess Isabella Henrietta Ingrid Margrethe was born. On January 8, 2011, at the Riggs Hospitalet in Copenhagen, Mary and Frederick welcomed twins, Princess Josephine Sophia Ivalo Mathilda and Prince Vincent Frederick Minnick Alexander. Nearly four years later, there was a beaming Frederick standing on the hospital steps saying, it's a miracle. Mary's family has made numerous trips back to her home country of Australia, where they have celebrated Christmas there, as well as visited well-known locations in Sydney, Canberra, and the Northern Territory. The couple continues to have a special place in their hearts for the athletic event that brought them together. They attended the Olympics in Athens in 2004, Beijing in 2008, Vancouver in 2010, London in 2012, and Rio de Janeiro in 2016. Frederick has been a member of the International Olympic Committee since his appointment in 2009. In a momentous act, Queen Margaret named Mary Regent in October 2019. With the title came the authority to act as head of state in the event that the 80-year-old monarch was abroad or otherwise occupied. After marrying Frederick in 2004, Mary has dedicated her life to philanthropy, becoming a patron of over 25 international organizations, in addition to raising her kids and attending diplomatic functions. She is a patron of the United Nations Population Fund and the Regional Office for Europe of the World Health Organization, supporting their efforts to improve maternal health in more than 150 poor countries. The princess established the Mary Foundation in 2007 with the goal of ending bullying, loneliness, and domestic abuse. Mary's husband, Frederick, will inherit the throne in Denmark shortly, and she will become its queen. After 52 years on the throne, Queen Margrethe said during her customary New Year's Eve speech that she would abdicate on January 14th of the following year. The monarch, who is well known for both her colorful sense of style and chain-smoking habit, will be succeeded by her eldest son, Crown Prince Frederick. The 83-year-old queen, who ascended to the throne in 1972, is the European monarch with the longest reign when Queen Elizabeth II passed away in September 2022. She had a successful back procedure in February. It was only natural that thinking about the future and whether it was time to pass the torch to the next generation followed the surgery, she added in her speech. I've determined that this is the appropriate moment. My dear father will pass away on January 14, 2024, 52 years after I took over as Queen of Denmark. Crown Prince Frederick, my son, shall inherit the throne. Not very long ago, the Danish royal family was rocked by rumors of a supposed affair between Frederick and Mexican socialite Genoveva Casanova. Now, news of her abdication has surfaced. Pictures that Prince Frederick took with the 47-year-old socialite on their evening out in Madrid were published by the Spanish magazine Lecturas in October. The couple supposedly spent the evening at a bodega in the Spanish capital, where they saw flamenco dancing and dined until the wee hours of the morning, according to the newspaper that published the images. Mary has not discussed her husband's supper with the socialite since the images surfaced, and when they make public appearances, they conduct themselves as usual. The mother of four wrote a mysterious essay a few days before Christmas, discussing the importance of having good human connections throughout the holiday season and loneliness. Following an unofficial vacation in New Zealand, the princess reconnected with Frederick and their three children, which is when the post was made. The future queen looks back on the last year and says she believed it was shorter than prior years in a letter that was published on the Mary Foundation website. And at the same time, so much has happened that words cannot express it all, she went on. Some speculated that the princess was hinting at the affair. Rumors with her foundation, after seeing an extract released on the Danish Royal House's official Instagram account. It said, we need each other if we are to succeed. And that's true for those of us who are working to combat social isolation as well as in the working world. I think this applies to everyone. People depend on other people. The inspirational message was displayed with a stunning photo of the royal family in the snow. Additionally, Frederick and Mary were seen holding hands with their four children, Prince Christian, 18, 
Princess Isabella, 16, Prince Vincent, and Princess Josephine, 12, during a Christmas Eve church service at Marcellusborg Castle, in line with, in line with Hola. Frederick took a private trip to Spain with the purpose of seeing art exhibitions, going to different restaurants, and watching flamenco. It's thought that he had invited Genoveva to go to the Picasso exhibition with a friend they both have, but the buddy had to cancel at the last minute, so Genoveva went to his place. The two went to El Corral de la Moraria for dinner after touring the Thyssen Bornemissa National Museum's exhibition. They then strolled through El Retiro Park. Since then, Genoveva has responded to malicious rumors that she was having an affair with the Danish heir apparent. I categorically deny the statements that suggest a romantic relationship between Prince Frederick and me, the socialite declared in a statement. Any statement of this type not only completely lacks the truth, but it also maliciously misrepresents the facts, the speaker continued. My lawyers already have this. They will handle the necessary actions to safeguard my rights to honor, truth, and privacy. A tearful King Frederick urged his beloved wife and family for assistance throughout his new reign, promising to be a contemporary monarch of tomorrow. The father of four, 55, stated in his first public statement following his coronation that my mother, Her Majesty Queen Margrethe II, has ruled Denmark for 52 years, according to a translation provided by royal blogger Gertz Royals. She has been keeping up with the times for 50 years, starting with our shared ancestry. She was and will always be a monarch, above and above the ordinary. My mother has succeeded, like very few others, in being one with her kingdom. The throne is passed on today. After depriving Joachim's four children of their royal titles, Margrethe causes a public rupture with him in the most recent drama involving a Danish royal. After then, she expressed regret for the announcement's timing, but upheld the directive. In the days that followed, Joachim had voiced his disapproval of his mother's choice, alleging that Henrik and Athena had suffered harm as a result of Joachim's previous marriage to Alexandra, Countess of Fredericksburg. A few months later, the heir apparent acknowledged that there was a lack of communication in the royal family prior to the unexpected declaration. Joachim said, there is a lot to work on to the local news organization BT. What was lacking was communication. We are headed in the correct direction now that we have met. Joachim stated that the news of his children's deprivation of their titles was leaked to the public with no more than five days warning. After the Queen's declaration, Joachim told the Danish newspaper Extra Bladet that his four children had been hurt by their grandmother's choice. Joachim resides in Paris with his French-born wife, Princess Marie, and their two youngest children. I had five days' notice before telling them. I was given a plan in May, and basically it said that it would happen when the kids turned 25. Now I had only five days to tell them. January is Athena's 11th birthday, he explained at the time. His ex-wife Alexandra, meanwhile, said that the decision had come as a bolt out of the blue, and that her boys, Nikolai and Felix, had been left feeling ostracized from the institution. In an additional statement, the royal household said, the decision has been a long time coming, as the queen stated yesterday. Although we acknowledge that there are currently a lot of emotions involved, we hope that the queen's desire to future-proof the royal household will be honored.